Welcome back to Real Quick, episode 135. That is an absurd number. Every time I see that number get higher and higher, I am astounded. Um, we it's got a fun low, little... Is it? It's definitely not going to get lower. Yeah. <laughs> um, welcome back to another episode of Real Quick. We have a, a fun patron-selected um, draft today. Uh, dra- uh, selected by our wonderful patron, Robert Leo Gislason. And I apologize if I pronounce that incorrectly, but kind of a fun draft. We're going to be drafting um, our least favorite or just what we in general think is the worst Oscar wins. We have to pick one picture, one actor, one actress, one director, and then a biggest snub. Now, this could be a... How are we doing the snubs? A I think it should. Was, I think I it think should be nominated. I think it was. It has yeah. to be nominated for it. It has to have been nominated. Nominated but just did not win. Okay, we will do that. So we'll do that. Um, as always, guys, take a look at our uh, Patreon if you'd like. These drafts are still available to everyone to listen to, but the episode tomorrow where we are going to be reviewing Paul Thomas Anderson's Magnolia that is patron exclusive. So if you guys enjoyed our throwback movie reviews and you want to have an opportunity to give us a suggestion on what you want us uh, to review and talk about, check out our Patreon, check out joining might be uh, beneficial for you guys, but let's get right into it. The order is Seth, George, Tyler, and Cam. And as always, we don't have to pick in that specific order. We could pick whichever picture, actor, director we want first. Um, So Seth, first pick, what do you think is the worst or your Anything. least favorite Oscar win of all time? Um, I'm just going to go with the safe pick. My lowest rated. Um, I know exactly what you're about to pick. I don't think you do. Crash. Yeah, yeah you do. Yeah, you do. Yeah. <laughs> My least favorite best picture winner. Uh, uh, one star. It's like just, uh, just so bad in every single way. And <laughs> that, is, that is Crash, of course. I knew that was coming. Yeah, I, I thought it would be Greenbug, but Greenbug, I think, is a one point. Greenbug's number two, Tyler, and I think you might be taking Man, that one. You guys are such haters on Greenbug. It's shit. It's, it's so a good bad. Movie. It is good. It's uh, not best picture winner good, but it's a good Yeah, movie. it's worst picture winner good. That's what it is. Oh, come on now. Um, I, I'm between two. I'm, I'm also looking at picture right now, um, but I think I got to go with the King's Speech. Um, again, not a bad movie, but to win over it's the years, I think social it, yeah, net, yeah. it's the year. Social it network, sense. Inception, Black Swan, The Fighter, Toy Story Three, mm-hmm. for King's Speech Toy to Story win. Three was year. nominated in like Best Picture, which is based. Yeah, it should. That should have won. Movie. You cowards! Is that like <laughs> one of the only times ever? That's crazy. I didn't know that. Uh, yeah, because yeah, Spider Verse was not nominated in 2018, so that was that was the last time an animated flick was nominated for Best Picture. Hmm. Yeah, I see what you mean. I like King's Speech, but it's definitely I like the others a lot more. Again, so. yeah, again, not a bad movie, but to win over the other nominees is yeah, absurd. I get it. I get it. So, did we say for actor and actress, we can do supporting actor, supporting actress to fit those? Yeah, in? yeah, I think yeah, so. Because yeah. I know yes. you're gonna, you're yes. going to pick supporting actress, aren't you, Tyler? Yeah, I think I got to. I wonder who it is. Don't do it. Damn it! I don't have an yeah, option for that. Then, damn. It. <laughs> I don't know. We, I know that's the only one I knew that was coming. That's the only one I think of every time. It's like <laughs> that's one like I'm like researching now for other picks, but that's one that's just like you don't, you don't, you know, it's just yeah. on the top of your mind. Yeah. That one just comes. Maybe recency bias. Not the worst. Also, also, yeah. yeah, it's probably not the worst, but it's so recent. It's just like where my mind goes instantly. It is, and it's just like it similar bad. with like the year with King's Speech. Like there was just every other option for best supporting actress last year was so much better. Carrie Condon, our queen, real <sighs> talk winner. <laughs> yes. Real Talk Awards always uh, age beautifully. Just yes. you love to see it. You love to see it. Um, Cameron, yeah. Back back. Uh, for my um, best actor, when I think is a good good votes win and doesn't deserve it, Ram, Ram, Rami Malik. Um, yeah, good I pick. Go there. I was going to go. I was going to be nine next pick. That's, 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 that's a Rami good Malick. pick. Well, you mean that's a good pick. pick. Um, he mean then, shit to me. <laughs> I really like. I really just don't have anything else off the top of my head um so biggest snub has to be nominated and not win oh. correct yeah correct. nominated not yeah. win um i'm gonna go with maybe not the biggest uh but it's just on the top of my head so i'm gonna go with it 
I'm going to go with Whiplash in 2014 because that was a bad year of movies. Like, not a bad year, but not a great year of movies, uh, or at least nominated. 2014? It, nominations, I don't think. Uh, I okay. like the Grand Budapest Hotel. I didn't love Birdman as much as I want to. American Sniper is overrated. Uh, Boyhood's good. Boyhood's good. The Imitation Game, I don't think. Maybe I saw it a long time ago, but I don't oh, know. I saw you mean that. Whiplash yeah. won easily, in my opinion. <sighs> Um, man, I don't really know where to go here. I'll probably go a picture now. Um, yeah, I'll go Green Book, even though Nomad Land's right up there. I'm sorry, that'd be even more of a hot take of a Nomad Land up there, but Green Book is what I'll pick for picture. There's another one beginning with G, Tyler, that I thought you might have gone with as well. Actually, no, you would have gone with Green Book, but I mean, I think you're gone with the win. Picture winner that began with a G, yeah, gone with the wind one. Oh, yeah, yeah, my brain's not thinking that far back this early in the morning. Yeah. But no, actually, I rate Gone with the Wind higher than Green Book, though. I think I gave it a 2 or 2.5. Oh, yeah, I think so, actually. Um, um, Seth, you're next. Or no, don't. No, George, sorry. George. George yeah. yeah. Um, I, I'm going to go with my biggest snub. Oh, am I going to go with my biggest snub? No, no, no. I'm, I'm going to go with actor. And I'm going to go with just last year, Brendan Fraser. What? <laughs> Oh, dude, over Paul Mescal. No, Colorado, that was my next pick, you prick. And, oh, 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 oh okay. I thought you were like, what? Like, Oh, no, I agree. I very much no, agree. Yeah. Again, oh, yeah. base Real Talk Awards, Austin Butler, the yeah. winner. <laughs> Facts. But did Austin Butler win ours? Yeah, I didn't know that. we're based. Oh, I didn't know that. Did you forget? <laughs> yeah, I did, actually. I did. Like we said, our winners aged very well. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, Seth, you get back-to-backs now. Okay. Uh, oh, shit. Back to- okay, I'll go back. I'll go with Snob. Um, nineteen sixty nine. Lol. Uh, Carol Reed won Best Director for his Oliver Twist adaptation, which isn't very good. Over Stanley Kubrick's Two Thousand One: Space Odyssey. Um, so I'll go with that because you know. Uh, no, no, I mean I'll do it as biggest snub. Sorry, biggest snub, biggest snub. So, oh. Two Thousand One: Space Odyssey, Best Picture, tw- uh, nineteen sixty nine, whatever. And oh shit, man, I really was set on Brendan. Okay. For best. Just stalling, stalling, stalling. For best actor. Sorry, I'm really stalling. I'm just double checking. Um, Dude, I'm just the double Oscars checking. Suck. Yeah, they do. They're really fucking shit. Like, um, I'm just like looking through these nominees. Like, hey, just don't pick the right one ever. God. Um, Good. I got my next pick as long as you guys don't take it. I mean, you have I your next exactly. pick? I know yeah, exactly I what you're thinking. Yeah, right. Sorry, I'm just double checking <laughs> this. One. I'm just double checking this one in two seconds. I like, I just don't. I never cared for the Oscars, so I've like barely seen. That's what I mean. Uh, the only Oscars I've ever seen was the like last most one. recent. I'm, yeah, I, I yeah, definitely, I'm, I'm, or at least in 2021, I was keeping up with it. And like 2020, I like watched all the movies, but anything before that, like, yeah, I'm not clued up. I'm, that's yeah. why I'm struggling. Yeah. Um, okay, okay, okay. Hey. I will go for just gun. Oh, oh, yeah, fuck yeah, man, it's terrible. Uh, I'll go for uh, actually. I feel bad because Guillermo del Toro is kind of my guy, and I do like him. But um, best director Guillermo del Toro, twenty seventeen. When you had, listen to this, right? Jordan Peele for Get Out, Nolan Dunkirk, Greta Gerwig Lady Bird, and Paul Thomas Anderson Phantom Thread. I'm sorry, like you know, get the fuck out of here. That is is crazy. I I think all of those films are great, except The Shape of Water, unfortunately. So. I'll go with that. Uh, you get another one. No, no, don't. I did, oh, wait. don't. No, 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 you did do it. Uh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, George. Uh, I'm gonna go with a snub, and I'm gonna take last year's animated feature, where Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio won, but Puss in Boots: The Last Wish should have won. <laughs> It's funny as snub. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Because, like, I know you liked Pinocchio as well. So oh, it's yeah. not even like I, d- I did like Pinocchio. 
<laughs> too funny ones. Oh, too. Come on, man. Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. That should have been nominated for Best Picture. <laughs> I like it. Uh, that's funny. Uh, next up, I got my director. I'm going to go Robert Zemeckis for Forrest Gump. No, Bang. I actually had to uh, pick that, you jackass. I was going to be the best It's so picture, rare bro. that we have an overlap, I feel like. You know, like I haven't seen most of these that same or a couple of these that it won over but quentin tarantino or pulp fiction alone like yeah i mean that's yeah, like totally that, that like my mom reminds me all the time that movie like changed people's lives when they saw that movie in theaters my parents love that movie so much um but yeah robert zemeck is winning for and i mean there's a multiple forrest gum picks i probably could have picked here but i'll go best yeah. director cam you're up next for back-to-backs <laughs> We're getting into territory. Like again, if if it's not the last three years, I haven't seen every. I I am searching uh, through every yeah. year right now. Um, I don't know. We're going with something I didn't even watch, but I do like the other movies uh, better. So we're gonna go with oh for director. Sorry, so Tom Hooper won for the King's Speech. Um, Darren Aronofsky and David O. Russell, like they're bad people, right? But I like the fighter and Black Swan a lot. Is Darren Aronofsky a bad person? Is he? I think he is. Right. My mistake. I think he just. I think he just. Cop, oh, I think he just. just assume, people, either way, is is either way, Dave, either way, David Fincher should have won for this. I just didn't want you to stray Darren with. You know, no, that's with, fine. Um, that's fine. That's fine. I, I, I forget who's canceled and not sometimes. So Tom um, Hooper was your pick. Yeah. Tom Hooper for cuts. And then next uh, for best picture, uh, I'm just gonna go with The Shape of Water. Because again, there were a ton of other movies wow. that I wanted to win that year, and I never watched The Shape of Water. Yeah, so I don't mind that. I didn't love The Shape of Water. Oh, you've not seen The Shape no. of Water. No. Therefore, no, I think that's a that's fucking that. horrible pick. That's such a stray. <laughs> yeah, that's that, that is a bad pick. Though. Every 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 best picture winner like that I've seen is like the only movie the only movie I've seen that year or something. Yeah, that's fair. way back. I'm like, well, it's best from that year, so that I've seen. Uh, I'll go for my biggest snub because if I don't draft it, then who am I? I have to look myself in the mirror, really do some soul searching <laughs> if I'm not picking this. Uh, Babylon score. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great pick. It's a great. Simply pick. not a snub. I think. Yeah. Uh, we all have a picture. All done our <laughs> snubs. I'm disappointed I didn't take La La Land picture because uh, that. La La oh, La right. It did, it did win. win. It won. It did win for about two <laughs> minutes. Less than. Uh, I mean that's more minutes than every other year of movie that <laughs> got snubbed. I had one. Um, George, true, next pick. True. Uh, I'm gonna go with my actress, and I just watched this movie for the first time last night, and I couldn't believe that Carrie Mulligan lost to Frances McDormand for Nomadland. So that's gonna be my my least favorite, I guess, yeah. actress. Frances McDormand Mulligan. might be my favorite actress oh. of all time, but I like the pick. Yeah, she same. She may be my favorite actress ever, but Carrie Mulligan was on another level in Promising Young Woman. And just like Nomad Lamb was such a blech. Yeah. Um, actor and actress to round us out, Seth. Okay, so my best thoughts, I'm going to go for Gary Oldman. Um, Damn. Oh. 2017 I, I was, again. I was between two picks for what I was going to go for best actor, and he was one of them. So Such thank a, you for making my decision. career achievement. Like, you literally had. Like, like, actually, I haven't seen Roman. I, I don't even know what this is, the, Daniel, the, the Denzel Washington. Right, one, but, but the other ones are crazy. Daniel Kaluuya, Get Out, Daniel Day-Lewis, Phantom Thread, Timothy Chalamet, Call Him By Your Name, all mm. much, much better performances. Yeah. And I love Gary Oldman, but that was very much like a – uh, Leo the Revenant, um, you know, there's loads of exactly uh, fucking yeah. Philip Seymour Hoffman, I would argue for Capote, like very much a career award. Um, and I love Gary Oldman, but you know, not great. And let me just get my best. Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna go supporting actress, just double check this. Um, here we go. Supporting actress isn't a great category, isn't it? Oh, someone picked, yeah, okay. So, why is Jamie Lee Curtis the only one I can think of? <laughs> it's like it's just um, who are these people? <laughs> okay, what's Bombshell? By the way, Margot Robbie. What the fuck's that? It's like That's the, the movie uh, about the, the reporters. Yeah, yeah, and sexual assault cases. Yeah. I believe. Is it any good? I've heard I like good things. I haven't seen it. It's good. Well, I, I'm stalling like crazy right now. Um, I have my so, pick and it's based on nothing. <laughs> but but I, I actually just I'm I, I don't know the Oscars right. at all. I'm realizing I just um okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can't find like a best uh, mm. I 
at this point, I'll, you just got to take a guess. I don't know. I don't know any. I can't I, even know. I, I got one. Okay, I'll go. Uh, <laughs> Surely you know me? What the fuck are we doing, man? That's crazy. What the fuck? Um, this is incredible. Michelle, yo. Yeah, yeah right. just do like, yeah, No, yeah, don't yeah. you dare. Give me that shit. You love tar. I know, but I, I also thought she was so good, you know? Yeah, no, no, I know. I was joking. That's fair. Joking. That's fair. That's fair. Um, based, based. Wow, she wasn't nominated. That's crazy. Back of my chair fell out while we're oh. going a little. No. The back of your head is ridiculous. ridiculous. Great all time YouTube video. <laughs> what the fuck? Is so it? good. You're okay, on my okay, I'll go. standing on business. There's a supporting actress from a couple of years ago, I feel like could have been. Can you can you up. can you please just tell me what it was? I'm not telling you who the uh who my best actress winner. Why would I take is that? A, Cam is yours a supporting actress? No, mine's a full yeah. actress. Because I think Laura Dern her actress. marriage story was I think she was nothing in that. Oh yeah, I kind of I kind of get that. I think she, I still liked her though, but I might have to just. My issue with Ariana Debose winning uh best supporting actress is like the fact that just re- uh um she won for west side story yeah which she was she was good i i liked her um but, oh no uh who's, what's her fucking name now i can't remember who's the main actress in that yeah i so know who's better. Better. ballad of songbirds and snakes yeah rachel come on zegler. rachel zegler thank you so much better than her in that movie should have won for best actress but that was best I know, uh, I know. That's like I don't have an issue with Ariana Debose winning. I just think Rachel Zegler was much better in the same. Movie, yeah, that's fair. but they were in different categories. I don't even have one. What do we got? <laughs> we need something. Seth. I don't know. I'm giving, I'm I'm giving you Anne Hathaway. I'll, I'll, I'll pick. I'll pick. I'll go. I'll go. Um, can someone remind me what were the nominees in, in the Marriage Story one? Someone just tell me quickly, please. Renee Zell. Renee Zellweger won. No, I mean the Laura yeah, Dern. Who, who, did, she, who oh, did Laura Dern beat? Oh, I have no idea. I will find. Someone it. help me. Who did she beat? I'm going. I'm going. I got it. I got it. Laura Dern beat Kate Kathy Bates in Richard Jewell, which was good. Right. Uh, oh, here, ScarJo and JoJo Rabbit. Did you like her? We said we did. No, not really. Uh, Florence Pugh and Little Women. I liked her. And Margot and Bar- Bombshell. Oh, for fuck's sake! I don't know. Mar- Margot and Dude, Bombshell. Just give them good. someone. Else. I haven't seen Bombshell. Give them. I don't know. What- Give Watch more okay, movies, bro. You know I'm just gonna literally. I'm just gonna pick. Um, I'm. I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick Michelle Yeoh because I'm just gonna go with George Sex. I can't think. Oh, uh, yeah, because of Kate Blanchett. I feel bad though because I I really like Michelle Yeoh. That's kind of harsh, you know. It's the way the cookie crumbles. Yeah, you're you're silly. Yeah. Uh, you, you just had to pick something, George. You've had time to think. <laughs> I, I've had plenty of time. I've had my selection for That's director fair. ready to go for like 10 minutes. That's fair. Um, in 2001, Mr. Ron Howard won for A Beautiful Mind. The same year, Peter Jackson was nominated for The Fellowship of the Ring. David Lynch was nominated for Mulholland Drive. And Ridley Scott was nominated for Black Hawk Down. David Lynch was nominated, but Naomi Watts. That's what I was, I was looking for Naomi Watts for Mulholland Drive. That's yeah. Yeah. I didn't even know David Lynch was nominated. That's interesting. Also, you could have got Fran- my man Francis Ford Coppola has been dicked throughout his career. Yeah, but I was always going to absolutely go dumped on, lost for The Godfather, won for The Godfather Part Two, lost for Apocalypse Now. Who won the night? Was it Kramer versus Kramer? I think it was actually. My actor, I will go with. Um, crap! My computer is froze on this tab, so I can't look up the spelling, but. Tom Hanks. Gene Cijardin, I think. The artist. Or, uh, the, the artist. artist. Yeah. The midist. The movie stinks and it won so many I'm Oscars. surprised. Right. It took Not actually. Right. The, best here, pick. The, uh, the guy is here, so I'm just throwing out my pick. I've never seen any of the other nominees, but I've seen this movie. Sandra Bullock for The Blind Side. Boo The Blind Side. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's a great pick. That's a great pick. Yeah, that, yeah. That, that, yeah. yeah, that, that, yeah. Um, bye, Cam. So, yeah, bye, Cam. But we'll, we'll run through the picks. So, worst Oscar wins in history. Seth says best picture crash best actor Gary Oldman in the darkest hour best actress Michelle Yeoh and everything everywhere all at once best director Guillermo del Toro the shape of water biggest snub 2001 a space odyssey not winning picture George worst picture King speech worst actor Brendan Fraser worst actress Frances McDormand in Nomadland worst director Ron Howard a beautiful mind and biggest snub Puss in Boots the last witch for animated film 
Worst picture for me, Green Book. Worst actor, Jean Dujardin from The Artist. Worst actress, Jamie Lee Curtis, Everything Ever All at Once. Worst director, Robert Zemeckis, Forrest Gump. Biggest snub, Babylon Score. Cam, worst picture, movie he hasn't seen, The Shape of Water. Worst actor, Rami Malek, Bohemian Rhapsody. Worst actress, Sandra Bullock, The Blind Side. Worst director, Tom Hooper, The King's Speech. And worst, or biggest snub, Whiplash, not winning picture. Uh, title Maya, The Snub. Best picture. Uh, it was best director. And ah, it wasn't. Not, it wasn't nominated for. So Kubrick, best best director, because it wasn't nominated yeah. for picture. Yeah, which yeah, great, great poll. Should have been winning for mm-hmm. sure. Um, but yeah, there's our list. Let us know in the comments down below who you think won this draft. Um, I think Cam by default should lose for not even seeing the movie he picked for the worst <laughs> picture of all time. Um, I mean, I should. Li- I picked a, a performance. <laughs> As the worst that I really fucking like. So yeah, but like, I still what? think that's more favorable than picking a movie you haven't even seen that's and saying so that's the worst. Fucking funny. <laughs> that's funny. But uh, yeah, George, worst. I'll let you sign us off. Yeah, that'll wrap up uh, real quick. Episode 135. Appreciate you guys tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed this this fun little draft that we had. Um, we will see every. We will see our patrons tomorrow for our review of Magnolia by Paul Thomas Anderson. So again. If you are not a patron and you would like to be able to access our um, weekly throwback movie reviews, take a look at our tiers. Um, if you have any questions, by the way, all four of us are active on Instagram. So feel free to DM us if you have any mm-hmm. questions on our patron. Um, you know, we all try to do the best we can to respond to as many DMs as possible. So any questions you guys may have before you want to you know, commit to, to being a patron, feel free to message us. Um, but that'll wrap up real quick. Episode 135. Shout out Robert Leo Gislazen for the recommendation. Um, and we will see everyone uh, on Monday for Real Talk episode 75. Perfect. Peace.